Two Austin rec centers could fall victim to budget cuts. One of them sits in downtown Austin near 13th and Lamar, the other on Loyola Lane in northeast Austin. The city doesn't want a permanent closure, but they're hoping someone else can come in and run them. KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackleman explains how much money that move could save taxpayers. You still create the same length on your hips, so lean forward. Twice a week, you can find Aline Jordan learning yoga at the Austin Recreation Center in downtown Austin. I'm not sure that other people could find, find this kind of thing any other place at this price, and I think it provides a great benefit to the citizens of Austin. She pays less than eight bucks per class. Besides yoga, the center offers volleyball leagues, tai chi, and a place to shoot some hoops. It's never easy to give up something that you've operated and, and maintained for a long time and find a partner that you can have complete trust in. And As part of budget cuts, the Austin Parks and Recreation Department says they can save about $300,000 if they rent the Austin Recreation Center and another rec center and let a nonprofit run them. But it's absolutely um, a tough decision, but it's, it's, it's the wave of the future. It's something that's happening throughout the country. If it happens here in Austin, the city says some services currently offered could disappear and prices could be going up. It would not be our intention to choose a partner that would make the, the cost of the services uh, out of reach of the, of the participants. Backside of your legs, inner thigh. I don't know, maybe just increasing the prices the, you know, themselves just a, a little bit uh, or be able to find savings some other place. But that's something the Parks and Rec Department says probably won't happen. I do wish they would find another way to be able to preserve it as it is. Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News. The Austin City Council, of course, will have the final decision in September when they approve the budget. We'll keep you posted.